Welcome to part two of Let's Play Sword of the Samurai by Mark Smith and Jamie Thompson. At the end of the last part, I was on paragraph 72. Let's reread this paragraph as a reminder. With a powerful scything blow, you cut deep into the rider's leg. He gives a shout of pain and topples from the saddle. Before he hits the ground, you have struck his head from his shoulders with one sweep of your katana. Lord Seatsin is a traitor, you realise. About ten of his samurai are running amuck in the village, looting and killing the defenceless villagers. Will you leave the village to its fate, deciding your mission is more important, turn to 104? Or will you run into the village and attack the nearest samurai, turn to 116? Or will you run into the village and shout out that you are the shogun's champion and you challenge anyone to an honourable duel, turn to 128? Or, if you have the skill of Kyujutsu, will you enter the village and dodge from house to house, picking off the raiders as you go, turn to 140. Okay, we are going to challenge anyone to an honourable duel and turn to 128. You run into the village and then shout the challenge at the top of your voice. Many of the samurai turn and stare as you tell them who you are. One of them steps forward and says, We no longer owe allegiance to Kihei Hasekawa and follow the new shogun that seats in, but we are still samurai. Come then, let us duel. He steps forward, drawing his sword. He stands before you, sword raised over his head, its tip pointed at your throat. You must fight three of these samurai, but they come at you one at a time in an honourable but biased fashion. First samurai, skill 7, stamina 9, then it's 9, 8, then 7, 9. If you kill all three of them, turn to 190. Okay, off we go. Okay, so first samurai, 7, 9. First samurai... Seven, nine. Okay, my skill is 12, so off we go. Okay, so 7 plus 4 is 11, so 11 and I get 22. So 11 to 22. Oops. Puts him down to 7. No, right, 7, there we go. Okay, next... Um, 7 plus 8 is 15, I get 20, so 15 to 20, put it down to 5, 7 plus 7 is 15, I get 18, so 14 to 18, put them down to 3, 7 plus 8 is 15, I get uh, 23, so 15 to 23, puts it down to 1, and then 7 plus 10 is 17, I get 14, so 17 to 14, whoops, that puts me down to... Uh, 20 stamina. Okay, next. Um, 7 plus 8 is 15. I get 21. So 15 to 21. Okay, put him down to naught or minus 1, whatever. Okay, um, now we're doing the second samurai. And his skill and stamina are 9 and 8 respectively. So 9 and 8 respectively. Okay, off we go. So, uh, yes, uh, off we go. So 9 plus 6 is 15. I get 20. So 15 to 20. Oops. Whoops, there we go. Put them down to six. Okay, nine plus six is fifteen. I get twenty-three, so fifteen to twenty-three. Put them down to four. Okay, uh, nine plus six is fifteen. I get twenty-two. 
So 15 to 22. He likes the number 15, doesn't he? Puts him down to 2. 9 plus 9 is 18. I knew I'd lose out there because I said that. I knew I'd jinx myself. 9 plus 9 is 18. I get 23. Okay, good. So I didn't... The jinx wasn't too bad. Um, 18 to 23. Puts him down to 0. That's the end of the second one. Okay, now on to the third samurai. Third samurai. And his skill and stamina is 7, 9 respectively. 7 and 9 respectively. Uh, the same as the first one. Okay, so we have 7 plus 3 is 10, and I get 22. So 10 to 22. Put some down to 7. Um, 7 plus 10 is 17, I get 23. So 17 to 23. Put some down to 5. Okay, 7 plus 5 is 12, I get 18, so 12 to 18. There we go. Okay, 3. Uh, 7 plus 10 is 17, I get 17, so neither of us hurts each other. Hurts the other or whatever, so carry on. Um, 7 plus 9 is 16, I get 22, so 16 to 22, put some down to 1, and 7 plus 9 is 16, I get 14, 16 to 14, that means I've lost uh, some stamina again, puts me down to 18, <clears throat> and back we go, okay. 7 plus 7 is 15, I get 17. So 14 to 17. That is the end of Mr. Third Samurai. So it puts him down to minus 1 or 0, whatever, who cares. Okay, that's the end of that. Good. Let's get the buzzing if there is any. Um, okay, so that's that. Let's carry on. So, we, if, uh, yeah. so if you kill all three of them, turn to 190. Off we go to 190. Now, the last one falls dead at your feet. You expect another to step forward and take his place, but none of the other samurai makes a move. The villagers cower in their homes, watching the proceedings with fear and hope in their eyes. One or two of the samurai shuffle back uncomfortably. They have been awed by your swordsmanship. One of them says, you are a master of the sword and you have won great honour here. As you have fought so well... As you have fought so well, we will leave now and spare your life. His words sound courteous, but you sense it is fear of facing you rather than the desire to honour you that is making them leave. They leave the village as fast as they can, yet you feel too tired to pursue them. Gain one honour point for your challenge and your defence of the village. Turn to 176. Okay, so we've gained an honour point. That puts us up to four honour points. Um, and then let's turn to 176. Now, the villagers run out of their houses and their hiding places, some shouting joyfully, others weeping over lost friends and relatives. As many villagers see to dowsing the fires, a number of elders approach you. Bowing low, one of them says, I am Ninji, the headman, uh, the headman, whatever. Um, we cannot thank you enough for your noble act. Hachiman has fallen on bad times, but at least someone still follows the old ways. Here, my lord, please accept this gift. And he hands you a silken red headband patterned with a black three-spoked wheel. This is the headband of Shinmen, the legendary hero of Hachiman, who came from this village. The, uh, this headband has been with us for centuries. You feel honoured. Shinmen was a great hero. Gain one honour and one luck point. Okay, so we have the headband of Shin Men. So let's put that on our equipment list. So headband of Shin Men. Shin Men, thank okay. you. And we gain another honour point. And what else did we gain? And a luck point. Okay. So that put well, luck's already at maximum, so we can't use that. Okay. 
Just then, a commotion starts nearby. There are cries of anger and hatred. A group of villagers have found a wounded samurai raider and are dragging him towards you. They are chanting, kill, 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 kill. The headman bows to you and says, please rid us of this vile murderer, lord. The samurai lies before you, defenceless, a slim young man with a blood-stained head bandage. He looks at you defiantly, uh, resolved not to show fear. Will you kill the samurai as the villagers wish, turn to 238, or spare his life, turn to 250? Okay, we're going to spare his life and turn to 250. <clears throat> I cannot slay the samurai in cold blood, you say loudly, and a cry of disappointment goes up from the villagers. But he should pay for his crime, and revenge, revenge, they shout. Now the captive samurai sits up in surprise and then bows low before you and offers you his sword. Thank you, my lord. My allegiance is to the shogun Hasekawa still in my heart, but I could not say thus in the service of Tsitsin as I was. But now I renounce the traitor Tsitsin and pledge my sword to you, my lord. Take me as your loyal companion. Will you take him with you, turn to 276, or, if you think he is lying, tell him to return to Tsitsin, turn to 264. And there he is. Okay, we're going to take him with us. So we now have, um, yeah, so we now have the samurai with us. So I'll just put that on the thing. Information. We have a samurai companion. <clears throat> okay, that's that. Um, and we're taking him with us, so we're turning to 276. Thank you, my lord. You will not regret it, he says quickly. And the villagers begin to disperse, darkly muttering things like, they're all the same, as you head back to the main road. They're all the same. As you head back to the main road, he tells you his name is Yomitsumi Moichi. Okay, I'll write that down. Yosh... Oh, what's his name? Yomitsumi Moichi. Okay, your Yomitsumi, right. I think it was Yoshimitsu. Yomitsumi Moichi. There we go. <clears throat> okay, brilliant. And that you can call him Moichi. Um, you travel north, your samurai retainer chatting incessantly about his family and his life history, so much so that you begin to regret your decision. At last he falls silent when you round a low hill to see a fortified castle about half a league from the road. It is the fortress of Lord Tsitsin, the traitor, my lord, says Moichi quietly. Will you press on with your mission, turn to 288, or decide that the honour of the shogun must be upheld and try to enter the castle and slay the traitor, turn to 300? Um, we are going to try to enter the castle and slay the traitor, turn to 300. So off we go, 300, here we go. Gain one honour point for your brave decision. That is up to six. <clears throat> Moichi's face falls when you tell him, but then he says, Well, my lord, I suppose that is the honourable thing to do. I know a hidden postern gate at the at the rear of the castle and the password. We can gain entrance. Uh, we can gain entrance there with ease if you will allow this humble warrior to lead such a one as you, O oh mighty lord. Um, he bows low. You cannot quite tell whether or not Moichi is being sarcastic in his praise of you, but you tell him to lead on anyway. He smiles roughly and leads you by a roundabout route to the rear of the castle, where it nestles against the foothills of the southern. Shiosi Mountains. Um, you wait until nightfall before approaching the hidden gate. Moichi walks up to a section of the wall and knocks on it. A slat opens and two eyes glittering in the moonlight stare out. Who goes there? A voice hisses. It is I, Moichi. We have returned from a night patrol on Lord Seetzin's personal orders. The password is Cherry Blossom. With that, the door slides open, allowing you and Moichi to step in. Without a word, you drive your fist into the surprised guard's face. The guard falls without a sound. Turn to 136.
You look, you look, you look around. Barracks, stables, and so on line the walls. Across the castle courtyard is a square stone keep with pagoda-like roofs, uh, roofs and carved gables. The palace of Lord seats in. But it is the two palace guards flanking the doors that really draw your attention. They are Shikomi, vile humanoid beings, but hair but hairy as apes, and with claws, fangs, and horrible snouted faces. They are dressed in dirty and tattered imitations of samurai armour, although their weapons seem in excellent condition. Now, the presence of Shikomi can only mean that Tsitsin is in league with I Ikiru, Master of Shadows. Tsitsin will be in the palace, and it seems even more important than before to slay him. Will you disguise yourself in the armour of the guard you have just knocked out, and with Moichi... Um, approach them, saying you have a message for Lord Seatsin, turn to 148. Um, pretend that you are Moichi's prisoner and that he is taking you to see Seatsin, turn to 160. Or, if you have the skill of Kyujitsu, try to pick off the guards as quickly and as silently as possible, turn to 170. Okay, so there they are. Um... Okay, we have the Kyujitsu skill, so we are going to, yeah, we're going to use the skill of Kyujitsu and turn to 170. You decide to use Bow Raker arrows as they are the most deadly. You draw aim and uh, you draw and aim your bow at the nearest Shikomi. Roll two dice. If you throw less than your skill, turn to 232. If you throw equal to or more than your skill, turn to 244. Okay. So our skill is 12, so we need this, well, just just roll the dice and see what happens. Okay, so that's an 8. So our throw was less than our skill, so let's turn to 232. With two swift and accurate shots, you have killed both Shikomi, who slump silently before the palace gates. Yeah, and we've used two um, bow rakers, so we only have one left now. That's what I was looking for. Okay, or rather what I was thinking about. Okay, um... With two swift and accurate shots, you have killed both Shikomi, who slump silently before the palace gates. Moichi's jaw drops in amazement. Such skill, you are truly a master of the way of the bow and the sword, my lord. This time you can detect no sarcasm in his voice. Quickly, you race into the palace as quietly as possible, into a maze of empty corridors and rooms. Turn to 230. Oop, it's just above. You run into the palace and down a long corridor, and soon find yourself lost in a maze of in a maze of corridors and rooms, mostly empty except for servants and slaves who stare at you in amazement. On rounding a corner, you are greeted by a sight that causes you to stop dead in your tracks. You have almost bumped into Lord Seatsin himself, waddling down the corridor, a samurai at either side. Lord Seatsin is a large fat man with great blubbery jaws and a face wreathed in fat. Two pig-like eyes flare in outrage. He wears a voluminous kimono bedecked with an enormous robe adorned with gold leaf. He is quite openly wearing the hat, indicating the title of Shogun. Seatsin gasps in fear as he recognises you. Signals to his guards and lumbers away. The samurai draw their blades bow and then rush to the attack. Moichi darts forward and engages one, you must fight the other. Tsitsin's bodyguard. Skill 9, stamina 8. If you win, turn to 354. Just a moment quickly. Okay. Um, okay. Um, yeah, skill nine, stamina eight. So Seatsin's bodyguard. 
apostrophe, there we are, bodyguard, what's his skill again, uh, 9 and 8, okay. Okay, and off we go. So my skill is 12 still, and off we go. 9 plus 8 is 17, I get 17. So neither of us hurts the other. And again, 9 plus 8 is 17, I get 19. So 17 to 19. And first blood to me. Um, 9 plus 7 is 16, I get 22, so 16 to 22, put some down to 4, 9 plus 7 is 16, I get 18, so 16 to 18, put some down to 2, okay, uh, 9 plus 7 is 16, I get 15, so 16 to 15, whoops, and that means I've lost another two stamina points, which puts me down to 16, okay, 9 plus 8 is 17, I get 21, so 17 to 21, And that's the end of Seatson's bodyguard. Brilliant. Okay. Um, if you win, turn to 354. Moichi has also killed his opponent, but is slightly wounded. Sheathing your blade, you spring after Lord Seatson. Soon you have caught up with him, just in time to see him ducking through a black and gold lacquered door. You and Moichi follow and burst into a large, richly decorated room with a black and gold lacquered chest in one corner. Tsitsin, gibbering in fear, has raised a trap door in one corner of the room. When he sees that you will reach him before he can manoeuvre his vast bulk down it, he falls to his knees before you. Spare me, great warrior. Please spare me. It was Ikiru. He forced me to turn against the rightful Shogun. Forgive me. I shall be his loyal vassal from now on, he gabbles, a tissue of transparent lies. As you look down, feeling only contempt and loathing, Seetsin's eyes narrow in cunning malice. His right hand flicks through the air, a needle-like dagger flies from his hand and into your thigh. Lose three stamina points. Uh, yeah, three stamina points. Puts me down to 13. Um, if you are still alive, you stagger back in surprise as he lurches to his feet, drawing his sword. Curse you, you swine, he cries and slashes at you. Moichi leaps forward and within moments both of you have ended Seetsin's miserable life. Turn to 366. That's the end of him. Uh, the traitor, Lord Seetsin, is dead. The honour of the Shogun and of Hachiman has been upheld. Gain one honour point for killing, uh, for ridding the land of the evil Lord Seetsin and for killing him in the middle of his own castle. Okay, so that's another honour point. That puts me up to seven. Now, uh, the Shogun is avenged, as are the villagers, says Moichi, who rests idly watching as you survey the room. Mostly it is full of ornate decoration, but the large chest catches your interest. You quickly open it. Inside is a bag of a hundred gold pieces, an arrow and an excellently crafted suit of samurai armour, obviously too small for the overweight seats in. You don the armour and find it is far superior to your own, especially because it is made out of some unusually light metal. Gain one luck point. Okay, so what did we get there? We got um, an arrow... Um, oh, I haven't read the paragraph yet, sorry. If you have the skill of Kujutsu, you recognise the arrow as being crafted by the legendary master of Kujutsu, Sunewara, who is reputed to have had magical powers. It is fletched with white eagle feathers. It 
should have the power of dispelling evil spirits noted on your adventure sheet. Okay, so I have a, let's make a new line here, a, okay, what was it? White Eagle Feather, so I'll call it White Eagle Arrow. So White Eagle Arrow, so I'll just say one. Um, was it due to spell evil spirits or something? Yeah, it dispels evil spirits. Okay, um, dispels, is that how you spell dispel? Don't know. Um, uh, I'll be right back. And I'm back. Um, yeah, I, I was right to second guess myself there. That is not how you spell dispel. That's very. I must say, I'm disappointed I, I couldn't remember that, um, but I, I was right to second guess myself. So Dispel only has one L. Anyway, Dispel's Evil Spirits. Okay, good. Um, all right, so it's that. Anyway, we gained a luck point, which you don't need. Um, we also have uh, a suit of armour or something. Uh, armour made of light metal. I'll just say we have armour made of light metal. And um, I'll just say discarded about my battle armor. There we go. Okay, good. Is that done? Um, oh yeah, but, yeah. And we got a hundred gold, didn't we? Of course, hundred gold. Can't be forgetting that. So right, hundred gold, hundred. All right, good. Out. All right, off we go. Oh, might as well use some provisions as well while I'm while I'm at it. All right, so it puts me up to seventeen stamina. Good. No, but down to nine provisions. Okay. Um, Moichi doesn't get any because he's been naughty. Anyway, no, I'm sure we've got a scrap or two. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that. Um, Sudden sounds of shouting and the clash of weapons come from outside. Seetsin's men will be here any minute. You both dart down the open trap door and close it behind you. Stairs lead down into Stygian blackness. You cautiously descend. Turn to 378. Uh, the stairs end in a blank wall. As you begin to push, it slides open. Simultaneously, there is a clanging sound. Stepping through the opening, you find yourself in a damp and odorous tunnel. On the left, an iron grill has slammed down, cutting you off from the stairs and uh, that climb upwards beyond it. You have no choice but to follow the tunnel towards a milky white luminescence at its end. As you and Moichi pace forward... A fetid stench rises in your nostrils. It's spelled fetid the American way. It should be F-O-E-T-I-D. Uh, the smell grows stronger. You come out into a large cavern, uh, suffused with a sickly pale light, but the source of the light is for the moment indiscernible. Bones, old clothes and rusted weapons are strewn about. Then you spot it. A huge glowing shape comes towards you. An enormous gaping maw, lined with teeth, rises up to devour you. Two eyes, massive discs of inscrutable blackness, stare at you, alive with ancient evil. The body, supported by hundreds of black scuttling legs, is bony and segmented. Segmented, whatever. It is a dirty white colour, and it is this that gives off the pale glow. It is a mukadi, or mukade, whatever, some sort of gigantic 40 foot centipede. Ugh, blimey. Uh, there it is. Have a have a look at that evil, ancient evil. Moichi screams in fear and you step back in astonishment. It snaps its head forward, striking like a serpent, and bites off Moichi's arm and most of his shoulder in an instant. He moans faintly and topples to the floor. The sight of this fills you with anger and sorrow, but then it ripples towards you, intent on making you its next meal. If you have the skill of Kyujutsu and, and still have your bow and arrow, you may fire two arrows before it is upon you. You will not be able to reclaim the arrows if you win the fight. In any case, you must fight it. Mukade, Mukadi. Skill 7, Stamina 20. If you win, turn to 384. Okay, so...
Okay, now I am going to use some arrows before I embark upon this. Um, I may fire two arrows. Okay, I only have, well, of the arrows that I have, I have, I have a bow raker. So I'm going to use a bow raker, so I'm going to have to use my skill again, which is less than 12. So, and so the bow raker hits, so that's minus 3. So now I have naught bow rakers. Um, I don't know if I could have picked up the ones, oh, I assume not. Um, anyway, so that's taken him down to, that's taken 3 off. Uh, so that's put him down to seven. Let's put the move K down to seventeen. Um, now we just need to see what the other arrows do again because I I, I forget. Yes, yes, yes. Right. Now, what about these arrows? Uh. Oh, here we go. Um. Three stamina damage, two stamina fired for use against the nose. Humming bowl makes a frightening noise. Uh, I'll use another. I'll use a willow leaf because that's all I have left. But yeah, I don't want to waste the humming one. Might need it for later. Um, I think yeah, I think we need it for later or something. Anyway, so where was I? Um, yeah, let's use one of the humming ones. So I'm not not one of the humming ones. Let's use one of the three willow uh, leaf ones. Sorry. So that puts us down to two. Test my skill again, but it's just a formality. Yeah, that's less than twelve. So, excuse me. So that puts us that um, puts him down to fifteen because the willow leaf only takes off uh, only takes off two stamina. I don't know whether I could have taken the bow rakers from when I used them before. Um, I don't know. I, it didn't say I could take them back, but but then it but, uh, then again it said here that that, that I I definitely can't. Uh, I definitely can't reclaim them. If I just do a quick, do a quick search here for reclaim. No, I doesn't want to search this PDF because it's you know, it's not very good quality. Um, does it say I can reclaim them here? No, it just says when you are asked if you wish to find an arrow, choose the arrow. Blah blah. Sometimes you may be lucky enough to regain an arrow or find some more. To see whether or not you hit a target. Yeah, it doesn't say. It just says. You may be lucky enough to regain an arrow. It doesn't I can't assume that I always regain it if it doesn't say. I mean, the only weird thing is it it's, it it specifically states that I can't reclaim it, which would which would imply that uh, that I could otherwise if it didn't say that. But it's a bit sort of ambiguous as uh, as it always is. I mean, it's always ambiguous, isn't it? Really. Anyway, so now we have to finish fighting this skill 7, stamina 20, Mukade or Mukadi, whatever it is. Anyway, so let's do this. My skill is 12. It is uh, 7. Let's go. 7 plus 8 is 15. I get uh, 16. So 15 to 16. Puts it down to uh, 13. Uh, 7 plus Nine is sixteen. I get uh, twenty-three. So sixteen to twenty-three. Eleven. Okay. Seven plus ten is seventeen. I get seventeen. So neither of us hurts the other. Seventeen all. Seven plus eleven is eighteen. I get sixteen. So eighteen. To 16 that means I lose lose this attack round so let's put um, take off another two stamina points from me okay let's carry on seven plus four is 11 I get 15 so 11 to 15 put some down to nine. 7 plus 8 is 15, I get 17, so 15 to 17. Put some down to 7. 7 plus 6 is 13, I get 18, so 13 to 18. 
go down to five. Seven plus ten is seventeen. I get uh, fourteen. So seventeen to fourteen. Whoops. That puts me down to uh, thirteen stamina now. Um, seven plus seven is fourteen. I get twenty four. So fourteen to twenty four. Puts them down to three. Seven plus five is twelve. I get seventeen. So twelve to seventeen. Puts them down to one. Seven plus seven is fourteen. I get twenty two. So fourteen to twenty two. I think that was. And that is the end of the Mukade or Mukadi, whatever it is. Good. Okay, good. Um, if you win, turn to 384, which I will, then I'll end the video. Okay, in fact, I'll end the video without reading it. Anyway, so on the next, or rather in the next video, I will be on paragraph 384. 384. Whoops. And that's that. Okay, so next video, I'll be on paragraph 384. Thanks for watching, and goodbye.